So this is the video I promised on my last video about my mission I once had with that uh, corporal that I didn't get along with and we couldn't stand each other, quite honestly. Um, first off, happy Thanksgiving to all, everybody, uh, the, especially the troops, everybody deployed overseas that aren't with their families. I remember I was at boot camp during Christmas, New Year's, Hmm. That's about it. Nothing, nothing crazy. It was right after Thanksgiving that I went to boot camp and it was rough. I remember that dinner. Never, never forget. It was actually in this basement. Uh, we had uh, dinner and it was very, it was just a mood, a different type of mood just because I knew where I was going, but I didn't know what, what the hell to expect. And, uh, I went, went straight in and here I am. So, the mission that I wanted to talk about, and this is why I always say I'm one of the best drivers ever in the world, in the civilian life, uh, because it's just chaotic out there uh, when, when I was driving in, in Iraq. So, this one mission was my first deployment. I was a Lance Corporal, and it was, it was a secret mission that we were outside of Fallujah, I forgot what the, the area was called, but we got picked and my corporal actually picked me to go with him and drive him, which was misery. Like I said, we earned each other's respect that night and we just, yeah, we didn't get along. And, and to this day, we probably still wouldn't get along, but we'd still be there for each other in the worst of times. and. We gained, like I said, respect. Uh, so we left probably around midnight or 2 a.m. And we were all in the platoon. And the other platoon, half of us were sleeping. Half of us were doing other missions. Half of us were uh, God knows where else, you know, just doing the regular routes. Um, this was outside our regular missions. We were in a Humvee, a little, nice little Humvee. So we met up and we met up with tankers and AAVs, amphibious assault vehicles, which are pretty badass. Um, this was the first time I was, I saw a tank up close, close on a mission with. And during that time, I was like, man, there's no way we're gonna get messed with. I'm with tanks, who the hell's gonna mess with us? And, you know, especially if some of the tanks were in front of us, if they hit a landmine or IED, you know, I, I don't know how much the tanks could actually. No, I've I've heard of some of those vehicles getting destroyed by some powerful IEDs, landmines. So, but I, I did feel safe in that area. So we ventured off, and all I thought was I was just gonna drive, and it was just gonna be you know regular. Let's just make it there safe type thing. So we're driving, and these tanks are hauling ass. And it was like tank, tank, Humvee, tank, tank, Humvee. Uh, and I just remember we were driving very, very fast in an off-road, in the sand, off-road, uh, under all these bridges. You know, I'm thinking to myself, why the hell aren't we taking a normal route? But, you know, there's reasons why. And we didn't have lights on, of course, so we, we didn't use our lights. I did have my MVGs. Um, I used them half the time because I would rather just kind of see in the dark than use those damn things. But, but I will explain why. So it was very weird just being in the, the truck with him just by ourselves anyway to begin with. But again, you know, we, we, just because we didn't get along doesn't mean we didn't, you know, we still talked. We, we got to try to know each other and we just had a lot of different beliefs and stuff and. It's just how it is, you know, we wouldn't have been friends back in the day, um, you know, but so just driving, then it just, it became a, a disaster and a, and a nightmare. It, I, we couldn't see a damn thing. I don't think we could see two feet in front of us. And if you ever drove in a sandstorm, which I got to do a story on that, that was crazy. Um, but I, I, we couldn't see. 
and uh, you know we did that the thing was too we didn't know the route and you didn't know the route we were just winging it so if the smoke got what was it if the smoke got clear or it wasn't as thick I, I knew to, to, to keep on driving for the most part. Um, but, but to see now that's where, where it gets a little scary because that means the tank's either way ahead of us or the tank is stopped and we can't see. Uh, so if, it was, if there was a lot of smoke, that means chances were, okay, well, we're behind the vehicle at a decent pace and it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. But again, at the same time, if it was really thick, that means it could have stopped. Um, but usually, usually it would mean that we were still on the right path. This mission was like an hour long and it was intense. I, I remember just driving like this. We were going over stuff. Like in the movie Dumb and Dumber where they jumped over that big old thing in their sheepdog car or whatever that's basically how it was and you know just looking in front of us we're like okay where's the smoke and we didn't know this at the time what the hell the smoke meant we I mean the the dust and everything and we we're like all right here we go we got to uh, pay attention to that because we can't see the tank we can't see it if we're not on pavement we, there's no way we could see it and these things are hauling ass so, again, this whole mission was just chaotic. And at this instance, again, and this is without like gunfire or worrying about IEDs at that point, I was worried about just living from not getting in an accident and dying. <laughs> so, and I could tell my corporal was freaked out because he couldn't see anything. And, and his trust was all had to be me. I was 20, 23, 23 years old. Um, man, yeah, 23. He was probably 21. Um, it was the blind leading the blind in, the, in that case. So I don't remember a lot of that mission because it was chaotic, but I do remember that, I don't know, the smoke started getting thinner, or not the smoke, the dust started getting thinner. And all of a sudden we see a tank in front of us just jammed on its brakes, just like stopped. And we had like a split second to make a decision. We're like, we're gonna, we're gonna crash into this tank going at least 40. So I just remember I turned to the right and there we were. We looked to the left, saw a big ass tank. <laughs> and then when the, the dust was all gone, we seen where we were at and we kind of backed up back in the line like nothing happened. But uh, that was absolutely terrifying. Um, so. You know, I wanted to share some experiences with, with what actually happened there on a daily basis. And it wasn't just, you know, it wasn't what people think, uh, but that was very terrifying. And, and that's another moment that's going to stay in my mind for the rest of my life. And uh, again, these are, these are a lot of these things I put on YouTube I don't think about until I'm in front of this camera. So I kind of just go off on a whim and kind of go in my head and just go with it. I don't write nothing down, I don't script it. I don't want to do that. Um, maybe when I teach jujitsu technique, I'll, I'll think about it a little more and, <laughs> instead of uh, uh, winging it. But um, again, so that was a very chaotic experience. But uh, again, happy Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know, stay, stay positive. It, it's not easy, it's, it's just, it's not easy, you know, we, you want to be in, in, you know, to see where you're at in the, in the complete darkness and your mind it will play tricks on you when you're overseas, uh, just, but, you know, we had a mission to do and that kept us busy and distracted. That's probably why they didn't give us any days off so we didn't have to think about it. Um, being away from home, I, I was always away from home on Thanksgiving. I, I think people would ask me to come over like friends and I always declined. I just stayed by myself and uh, just like watched movies. Sounds depressing, but that, you know, that's kind of how I was out there. Um, 
you know, it's just Christmas. I always got to come home. You know, it was nice. I didn't. I wasn't overseas uh, during those times. So, like I said, my hats off to everybody out there, and we're always thinking about you guys. And uh, you know, to stay safe. Thank you.